Amen. All right, we're getting ready to go, so. Yeah, I'm ready to spectate when you guys. Right, so are you on? Oh, we are. We're actually live. Tom, you didn't, you didn't say hello. Why from New Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Indiana Tech Hearthstone match of TESPA. Amen. <laughs> Who are we playing? Competition. Tom, We're playing you? against SUNY Canton of New York State. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just wow. Love it. Give it a dash. Okay. You gotta put the GIF, GIF in there. Yeah. You're welcome. Do something about that dance. What's the dance? You see it? <laughs> Which dance? <laughs> That's a lot of good. Oh, yeah. Rick, look at Rickamus. <laughs> oh, I don't like that one. Yeah, that one's not good. <laughs> These all are, like, pretty bad. Oh, it's a minion. Oh, it's a minion. Or Spongeboob. Oh, wait. Twitch guidelines. Yeah, you can't say boob. <laughs> boob isn't okay. Ooh. Yeah. Boom, easy. <clears throat> Take that one. Popcorn is being cooked. <laughs> Do we twitch chat open? Oh, easy. God bless. Yeah, hallelujah. Dabs on haters. Okay, so what we got is that we got the priest, so open the priest on the yeah. OBS. Where'd it go? There it is. It's like, oh, uh, we don't have it. <laughs> yeah. It feels cool. amazing, man. <laughs> So I definitely think they keep uh, Spiteful here. Being turn two. Definitely. Just keep a piece of that in their hand. Yeah. Do, do they keep the whole thing? Uh, probably not Crab. Probably not Stonehill. I feel like they could keep both three drops. Almost. I think that they could just... If I think you they throw away, you could throw away Stonehill. I think it's the only one they throw away. They're gonna, I think they're going to rather have a... Uh, one of these guys, one of these guys, any of these, compared to Stonehill. Yeah. You, pretty, with this deck, you can pretty much throw anything away and, and still be fine. I guess our stone glitched a little bit. Wait for a second, we got Mistress and Mixtures. I didn't even, wait. Oh, so they ended up going with... Wait a second. Uh, what? Anyone else just get really bamboozled? Why? Uh, what are we looking at? Man, they're playing. Spiteful they're playing Druid. Druid. I, thought, I thought it was Paladin. Wait, why? Yeah, they had the deck list completely wrong. Come on, deck <laughs> tracker. Knew, what knew, are you doing? <laughs> I knew what they were playing, yeah, but like, I, the deck tracker. Sick. I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna be looking for Nitro. I was like, yeah, I completely agree with Tommy. I don't know why I thought that, but then I was like, wait, why do they have Stonehill Defender and Aggro? <laughs> Strange. Deck Interesting. Tracker. You're right. so confused. Well, now that we're back up to speed. You see on the left side of the screen the enemy's deck, and on our right side of the screen the uh, home team's deck. Home team's deck, exactly. Indiana Tech's very own. Amen. <clears throat> Good call, Tom. Yep, thanks. <laughs> Had to go for that trade there. Don't want to give them too much draw. So I'm really excited to see this uh, potential coin spiteful on five. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best plays. Ooh, do they go for the mirror play? They did get their spiteful off yesterday, so it'd be nice to see it go off today. Now we're gonna get both. Yeah. yeah that's the plan. The five and six yeah. double double uh, double dragon. I don't think that has charge. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going, going on, on with Arstown today. today. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and try to attack for them? <laughs> we're trying new things today. <laughs> it's just the new green... Well, it's a green card, yeah, therefore a green aura makes a lot it, of sense. We're yeah. We skinned Hearthstone. Uh. <laughs> Did they already select, or do we see what they select? I think I think they actually ended turn, and we're... Uh, they're at their turn, turn, but... Delayed? I'm not really sure what's going on, but... You, you get the gist. You get the gist. I don't want to hit this cord. <clears throat> so did they just Stonehill into Tark Reaper, or do we not see what they did? Wait, are they playing? 
I don't. I think they're just looking at their cards. I think they're. Uh, I think these guys are playing their turn. Wait, they never selected their card, did they? Yeah, I think we might have missed that. I don't think that showed up. Yeah, yeah no. no, they were oh, they were in. Oh, selection. there it comes. I told you. Oh, okay. I knew it. Makes sense. That's why everything was freaked out. I knew it. You're so smart. I didn't even did think about it. I let you know that. I'm a I'm an esports coach. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. That. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Some say I know things. <laughs> Two mana, one three. Discover a dragon if you've got a dragon. That's broken. Keep adding more dragons to your hand. I think it's going to rotate out, right? I kind of want to see... I want to see the opposite. Yeah. I want to see Discover a Dragon if you have no dragons in your deck. Mm. Therefore, you have no dragon synergies, but you can still get a dragon. I mean, that'd be interesting, I guess. I'm, I'm thinking if there is actually a card like that. Not that I can think of. Discover, just, just like a, no a vanilla card. Discover a Dragon. I don't remember. I don't Bone Drakes. <laughs> Shadow Summon. If that starts stacking up with the Tar Elemental, like it's spooky. A little bit, yeah. But it didn't. They missed, thankfully. Is it a ramp turn? <sighs> they kind of, like, think... they almost want a Tar Creeper. I mean, they, I feel like... they just don't need to. That's the yeah. way I see it. It's, like, it's, it's just like, uh, you want more stats out on the board because they already have Shadow Ascendant, and I think a good a good play is uh, yeah. maybe Crab Tar Creeper. But I think, I think, uh... Ramping isn't bad here. So I, I they see, save coin. I see. Mm -hmm. I see that one play. I see. Instead of waiting for next turn, spiteful with coin, you could just mire keeper for mana to save the coin to yeah. get spiteful out early and save the coin for maybe lich king or maybe a. Yeah, that might be the next turn, right? Because it goes. To, you go to five, and then the next turn you draw for six. Yeah, because and then the turn after that you go for the seven. Seven. Coin, eight. Yeah. Turn six, seven mana coin into the eight drop. So, That's a lot of stats for just a couple of turns. Yeah, there's a lot of taunt in the hand right now. Or not a lot, but... Do they ever just a lot play of... Stegadon for defense and not want to play Tar Creeper? I don't really see that ever coming out. I think Tar Creeper's better, just because you can play, you can at least play one drop. And it's more, it's just better for trading against. Yeah, I like this play a lot. Not attacking into the Tar Creeper. Tar Creeper gaining two <laughs> damage on our turn. Yeah. Same with ours on their turn, though. Wow, they discovered into Draconid. That always feels really good. What would actually be the uh, the worst thing for them to have sniped right there with the... Um, what's it called? The Draconid. The thing they just played. What would be the worst thing for them to take from us? Well, to get in their hand from us. Is it a, just any card from the deck? I think so. Or maybe I... I yeah, any I card from the deck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, let's see what turns out with the 10-drop. Pretty good. Beth Pretty Faceless good. Faceless Behemoth. Pretty good five turn. Turn five. Turn five, 14-14. Pretty good. Oh, yep. and they and answer with their own. Let's own. hope they get the Cthune. Oh, they got an eight drop. That could change things up. Hopefully it's us. Archivist. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, Violet Worm. Death Rattle. Summon seven one one Grubs. Budget Anixia. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, um, it's a pretty strong card. It kind of answers what we got, but at the same time, like, the passive, or the death rattle, rather, would probably not get a lot of value since they actually have a huge board right now. Mm -hmm. If anything, it'll just draw a couple... It'll summon a couple 1-1 one, one grubs. It's not too great, but... Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, tech, we have to be really kind of afraid of their board because with this... 2-1 two, two, or two on just buffing everything over and over again. We don't really have a way to clear their board outside of just making bigger guys. Yeah. <coughs> and so I think we're kind of in a rough spot. I think um, <coughs> the best play in my book definitely is the um, maybe like Stegadon Hero Power or Meyer Keeper Hero Power and then you look to trade face in 4-4 four, four with Tar Creeper and then trade the Grub with the 10-10. Because I think we have to stabilize here. I think he, they've got too big of a board. Yeah, definitely. And that way we only take, uh, so you're take saying... two damage... We keep our 4-4 four, four alive, goes to 4-1, and our 10-10 ten, trades with 7-7. Seven, seven, yeah. And they only get, I think, three 1-1s. One, so no, it, it minimizes the amount of death rattle that they, we'd have to see. So you're saying play Stegadon? Um, I think so, just because the Draconid and the other Dragon cards, like, I mean, they push... They'll push 15 damage regardless. Yep. So that's kind of terrifying. I think if you go for a play like that, it's pretty strong. Yeah, puts more ton on the, on the board. Less is face damage. Another yeah, another play I think is Meyer Keepering to gain mana just to get that that Lich King out next turn. 
Yeah, possibly. for sure. Lich King actually soaks up a lot of damage while producing a lot of value as well. But I'm not I'm not sure exactly how powerful that is, considering we have uh, Pe Fear and the Pestle in our hand. Oh, and it looks like they actually traded with the Draconid. <laughs> <coughs> Mind okay, control. So they got the 10 drop. This Let's see what another they get. Spite yeah. Okay, Sea Giant's eight, eight. not too bad. They got similar stats from the last roll. So they got double Spiteful, and we're sitting on a little less. Looks like they're going for the trade. Obviously, actually, I don't. Does he? <coughs> is he supposed to trade there? I'm not sure. What did he trade? They, he traded the two two into the four one. I mean, I understand him making room on his board, but at the same time, I just think he's full health. He could have pushed like eight damage. Yeah, I think more than that. I mean, I'm I'm not afraid of our board at this point. Yeah, no, I think hitting face would have been a lot better. I mean, he can set up for like almost lethal next turn, so like. Yeah, he's got well, 16, right now, 18, he's got, yeah. 22 damage. Well, maybe he's got it on, got it in hand. They don't have any spells, actually. I don't know. We're looking to play Mafuri in this turn, create some taunts, Scarabs. Yeah. Do, and we don't run 6-drop uh, 1-5s, do we? Spreading Plague? Uh, no, we do not. Because it's just too small of a spell, I think. Yeah, I, I think... I don't know. I just I believe Lich King comes out next turn. We still take like we take six damage this turn. Yeah. Next turn we take more than that, fourteen. You know we're gonna be sitting at about like six health in yep. two turns. I don't see us getting enough value out of Lich King or UI. Um, I guess the only thing that really hurts us here is like a free from Amber, because like that's like they're already dominating board enough. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Uh, that's the only way they have to go. I was about to say Grand Archivist. about to say, yeah, Grand Archivist. Now, can that out. pull mind control here and do nothing? Yep, it actually actually can. So, let's see what happens. Hopefully. Wow. And they get the free aid Let's get that Obsidian statue right quick. No, they're 10 10, man. Yeah, so they, uh, we spawned. Oh, they're dead on board. It's lethal. Yeah. We spawned one big guy. They sum summoned five. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, even with the Lich King play, it's still lethal. Yeah, and that's, yep. that's like the problem, I guess, yeah. kind of with... Not necessarily with Druid, but... We didn't have any removal, and he actually drew into both Spitefuls. Turn 6, Spiteful. Turn 7, think, Spiteful. Turn yeah. 8, Grand I mean, Archivist. I think the Pretty turn strong. 7 was from the Draconid. I think that's what I saw. I don't think that was theirs. Well, maybe I'm crazy. They created Draconid. Yeah. Yeah. Did we see what they got from Draconid? I think that's it. I think they got Spiteful. Oh, did I'm they? I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. That's nasty. So, Suni up so they one potential low now. Yeah, potential game winner, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Ever since Discover's come out, like you really can just ramp through like a bunch of nasty cards because you get to pick. That's the funny thing with all these like massive single target value cards. Draconid's so strong. Yeah. Because it's like they're probably going to be running something that you could get out of that, you know? Like, and you're going to draw into. And a lot of decks being really similar right now. Like big. Anyway, yeah. well, <laughs> you could make you could make like yeah. a big yeah. Like it's, it's either it's, big it's, or small. Yeah, it's There's not really just small with a ton of things. Zoo or, aggro yeah. anything Made or it. extremely big thing. So this is Druid now. So, we're going to be playing Spiteful Druid, as we have their decks. Do we know what we um, banned from them? Uh, I'm not sure. Warlock or Paladin? I can't remember. I think it was Warlock. Okay. I would assume yeah, it was I Warlock. Th I'm not even going to ask, because I know, know, we, know we, got, we banned that's, Warlock. That's what we've been, we've been aiming for the past couple of weeks. Because yeah. we, I know yesterday we got to use our Warlock for the first time in a while. Plant the seed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing the same same deck right yeah drew it again nice to see deck, deck tracker putting the correct deck up here being <laughs> accurate yeah, as good. usual <laughs> well we got Spiteful. we got a piece there okay. pretty good now just don't draw both ultimate yeah. infestation <laughs> 
quick, someone oh, say it. So whatever it happens, <laughs> it's all Tommy's fault. You heard it here first. Clip it in the chat, please, and uh, post that, please. All right, so we got our 2-2. They got their 2-2. Two -two. I think you just, like, do you play Mistress on this turn? Mm. Mistress and then I think go face. You definitely have to trade because... Because B synergy. Mark of Yasharaj, right? Well, let's see. Yeah, wait, we can just look oh, at right. their we deck. Actually have the deck. <laughs> well, I guess they don't really have any buffs, so... it Going face with Mistress doesn't really mean anything because it just heals them back. So yeah. you might as well trade and then play another. It's basically... Mistress is basically a... Just... A neutralizer. Yeah. Just... Uh, yeah, see, I like what they did. It's kind of like a hybrid play. Nope. <laughs> it forces them to lose out and I forces them to trade. Like it makes them trade on your terms. It doesn't change anything. Like, this play didn't do anything. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's like, yeah, like you said, it's a neutralizer. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was Pretty good. Extremely good. good. Wait. Is that not buff in hand? No, in, no, it's in deck. In deck. In your car, in your deck, in... <laughs> Good call, Tom. Yep. Thank you. Tar Creeper makes us feel sad. Looks like they're coining something out. Maybe Mar Creeper for ramp. Oh, oh they Serenite. just coined out Serenite. Oh, man. Our, our Serenite didn't get the buff, sadly. Oh, but we got that nasty 4-4 four, four uh, Blood Knight. Not bad. Oh, yes, so we Mario Creeper ramp to six. Actually, this is a really good timing to play that on oh, yeah, four yeah, yeah. for Spiteful next turn. Spiteful next turn um, is going to be a great play. I think there's a. I think we we trade here. It sets up for. Well, actually. Maybe yeah, you just you, trade you into one. You kind of just have to. Well, you definitely just kill one. Yeah. It brings us up a little bit of health. And any, anytime a, you can make a solid trade. Yeah. Anytime you can make Mistress of Mixtures bring you up to. Like full health and not heal them at all. That's pretty much is the best value you're gonna get. That's why like warlocks are able to run it so well because they just hurt themselves over and over again. Yep, up and down, up and down. So they're playing a bunch of small things. It looks like they probably have Kalisath in their lineup too. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so we get our spike flood here. Free Tendra. I wonder which one it'll be. Oh, it looks like it was UI this time. Take note, it doesn't even cast a spell. It just Ooh, reveals we got the, it. the best one. Feels also known as the worst one. Amazing. But Squid Billy himself. <laughs> also known as the turn 6, 10-10. Still yeah. not that bad. So good. First world problems. So it looks like they double trade into Mire Keeper and into Serenite. So this guy is just playing all of his tempo and his steam right now. And he's not getting, he hasn't gotten his Keliseth out. And now Ooh. once these Keliseth minions start coming up, we're going to start just outclassing all of their cards. So these and it Serenite is not buffed by Kelly yeah. Set. Yeah, that's However, a shame. Every minion after that will be. So So here's my question. Do we archive this on 8 every time here? Because we um, want to play Ultimate Infestation, but I'm also afraid that if we get our other Spiteful and archive this out, both UIs, we're going to like deck the hell out of ourselves as well as yeah, not that's, have a Spiteful target. It's something that you have to consider whenever you're playing the card. Yeah, it's definitely possible, and it's <coughs> it's sort of, sort of a question of like, like how how dire of a situation are you really in? Like, can you easily trade away your archivist, or archivist? You just really need away. cards. I think so. I'm actually okay with it because the fact that we've already got Keliseth out on like turn three, we're okay with WUing because it'll just make us like Get, it's gonna be our, like a Luna. Like yeah. we're just gonna draw ten cards. Yeah. And even if it does deck, even if it does deck us out. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. okay. That's yeah. really good. They actually got the second worst one. Alright, so, so we're gonna be looking at Grand Archivist for a UI target. Just to draw cards, probably. I mean, well, we also have to trade. Obviously. We have to trade correctly here. I think we want to UI the three three, or maybe wait. We'll can, we, we can't we'll force. I guess it could also hit face, right? Yeah. So yeah. Our own face. Eventually. If we're lucky. <laughs> Honestly, if it hits our face, I'm pretty sure we win the game. Hit face. <laughs> so we're, we're pushing damage because we actually do have. Um, you know, 16 damage now on board. Uh, Alright, right to our face, please. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, so close. <laughs> you don't you don't win them all, that's for sure. Ooh. Could be a lot worse. Draw <laughs> five cards. Yeah, yeah, Meyer Keeper Spellbreaker, Charing Gang, Mercator, Circuit Bridge. I'm calling it right now. He's uh, okay, I was about to say. Oh. oh so this is the thing, we're gonna steal it back. That's the that's yeah. the one way to win the game. There we go. <laughs> and the thing is they're actually gonna cast their own UIs. Yep. And then yeah. they're not gonna get their spitefuls. True. And, but the thing is their UI is gonna hit face. I can tell their face. Yeah, for sure. Let's see, what are the differences in this deck, in our deck? I, I know, I was trying so to look at that too. We both run Glacials, I think. Both Glacials. They run Fireflies and, and uh, the Birds, the 2 2s. Yeah, and we run Hungry Crabs for more of attack. They run a, a Dragon Slayer and an Ooze. Face, 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 face. Oh, oh, well, that's okay. Wrong face. We yeah. wanted it face last time. But see, here's the thing they now summon their 5 5, which allows so, us to. If MCT, if we want to. We have second rate and MCC, yeah. or MCT. So there's a lot of good plays here. I'm pretty sure if we just grab Archivist here. Oh. All right, so oh, MCT saw his boy. He's like, yo, what's up? Come to this side. You gotta be over and here. That's yeah. where the party's at. Yeah, we're hanging out over on the Druid side. Oh, wait, I guess they're both Druid. Um, and now I guess that that Serenite's buffed, right? Yep. The one in the yeah, yeah. so that's a pretty, every minion is buff now. Pretty strong set of cards. They still haven't got Kellis at that. Now here's a question: Do you have the time? Do you, do you go wide? Yeah. And try to get a UI target so we don't take five damage to the face again. Yeah. Or do you silence something? Like, oh, it looks like we're going for a double minion play. I think play they. I think at this guys. point they want Ravis <coughs> to probably trade into the four two. Okay, this is smart. Yeah, this way he can't get rid of it. He, he, he burns up their spells, so he they draw, actually don't get spiteful value. Yeah. He draws both uh, UIs, and it mills him four cards. That's really funny. Just because, well, like, not, we, maybe not four cards. We yeah. were talking about it happening to us, and then they stole our guy, and now it's happening to them. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, so man. unless he has spiteful here, he is actually missing out on a lot. Yep. He might have UI in hand, too, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Also that's a possibility. True. So right. archivist won't cast it from hand. Kalisa, so they got their own Kalisa. So if they do have UI in the deck still, it'll pull five uh, buffed minions. Alright, so how much damage are we pushing right here? He's going to go down to 24 health trading with the 5-1. Um, we've only got 10 on 10, board. Yep. They have also UI in hand. hand. Okay. okay. But we got our other Not spiteful before our last Yeah, UI, so that's, that's pretty a pretty good, good value. Um, but the thing is, we're also running low on health. So yeah, we need to figure out we, whether or not to trade and what to trade into. I really so, like the... Um, so see Spiteful, what we get from Spiteful first. Yeah, Spiteful is pretty good here, because we've got a couple of times. Yeah, we have most likely <coughs> the, the chain game play. For sure, yeah. Okay, not so bad. We, we got an upgrade. Yep. Not the best. Still, that's a, you know, that 6 drop, 13-13, yep. pretty strong. Um... Serenade's pretty good here. I think we just have a bunch of really good value trades. Yeah, I, I think, think the maybe the 3-2 into the 4-3 the and 3-3 three, three into 5-1, 4-4 into a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, the Beast. Kelseth can't bounce here. And so. Serenite. Is there a world where they just push face damage with Serenite? Or go face and then play Serenite? Or is it, do they always well, trade let's see. Because Serenite, 13. Can, Serenite can soak up a lot of this, this damage, and I think we can almost win next turn. So they're missing yeah. out on 7 damage right now. But the, see, we only killed two twos, right? So yep. if we put them down to fourteen, or uh, no, and this is we would put them down to. Pay 17. attention. This is this card has been in their hands since Mulligan. Yeah, that so has to be it. It has to be a UI. <coughs> like so, they actually either that or some yeah. crazy tech card. Yeah, and I don't even know if he wants to play it here. He probably just want to get. I mean, it. He already kill us. I mean, so. they have an ooze in their deck. They have. They have two Cobalt Scale Banes. They have Malfurion. They would have probably played him by now. They have a Lich King. So it's, it has to be Could UI be King, or a news. Or even a Dragon Slayer. They would have no reason to play it so far. So We're about to find out, huh? If he UIs, he hits our Spiteful. Oh, it plays Malfurion. Yep. Goes for the taunts. Smacking into the 4 1. That's pretty good for them. That way they can kind of sustain a little bit of the board that we've built up. And we've actually got two spellbreakers. <coughs> so, 8 16 damage on board for us. Yep. I feel like that's such a good play. 
but it looks like we're just gonna go for the damage or the trade. I just I don't think they have really anything to answer if we just go face with double. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we're just gonna go for the single spellbreaker. Okay. And then maybe a tar creeper, or maybe Meyer creeper, hero power. I don't know. I think they want to avoid here or hero power. I think they kind of want to close out the game right now because if they let them sit with um, Malfurion up, they can kind of charge up a lot of armor. Play yeah. Big guys. <laughs> Playing both Tar Creepers. Yeah, both so you sides. can see them. They're getting urgent. They they set up for this lethal next turn. Yeah. They're pushing four plus fourteen plus eleven. So they've got twenty five damage. Yeah. Um, smart trading and UI prevents nine damage. No, seven damage. So I'm pretty sure it's lethal, unless they've got something outside of UI. My thoughts are plagued. <clears throat> That's how he says it. He does say it like that. Yeah, I know. Professional esports coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've, we've still got Mephirian, Lich King, UI, MCT, keeping two defenders. A, keeping so we get a lot of silence. value, actually, in our if deck. You, yeah, if they play Lich King right here, Lich King Hero Power, then we just silence and win the game. Yeah. Keeping that silence in the hand, procced for a, a quick, easy, lethal is always nice. Even if the, I think even if we, they have Lich King and we didn't have the silence, we'd still have a game. Yeah, it trades with Sea Giant, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, still, it's like, I'm trying to do the math real quick. Yeah. Quick maths. Tar Creeper. Double, double Tar Creeper. Silence one, we get a game. Silence one, trade yeah. the other. Yeah, yeah, so that's game. That's pretty good. Uh, the way they spaced out their Spellbreakers was really good there. Yeah. The, the turn that we were like, oh, we could set up for two turn, yeah, that and just kind of clear both 1-5s, but really they were just like, well, yeah. we can no, keep one in hand I and kind of milk I the battle no, cry a little bit. So, uh, so two. they got two Spitefuls on us, yeah. and they won. Then we got... Did we get two Spitefuls? No, uh, we only got... Yeah, we got two. We got we? two. Yeah, because they yeah, stole we got a our Cthune, the first and then, then we Cthune! They tried to take all of our cards. Yeah, I really yeah. didn't like that. And so we stole the card that they used to steal our cards. So up yeah, but I gotta figure one, out. So one to one right now. Yeah. Tie ball game. Our druids out, and their uh, priest. Is priest is out. They have, they don't have spiteful priest. We don't have spiteful druid. <coughs> Do you think they look to play the same deck? What what did they have left? The, um, so they have, they have uh, their... Murloc and Q Block left. Like, they've they busted their. No, they don't have both of those. Yeah, they have uh, Murloc left. They have Murloc left. Uh, we're gonna assume and... they have Murloc left. Oh wait, no, maybe. No, no, they, no have, they, have they have Murloc. Band, they have Murloc and. Uh, band they have Murloc and Druid. Yeah. Not yeah. not Q Block. Yeah. yeah. See our guys in chat. The Needler, Reborn Logic, Seventeen G Branson. I know that guy. Hey, guys, Who is it? What up? Who's 17G Branson? Killerbug1018. That's my boy Gabe. What's up? Learn to spiel. Who, me? I like whenever you reply to people, it's through Indiana Tech Esports. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, everyone knows Tommy's at the helm, but it's all official. You're just kind of like the guy. The guy. So, so we're going with so cube. So yeah. we're, we're like this open. Like to not get banned. Warning. <coughs> oh, that feels kind of amazing. Bad. Well, that feels good for. It's because it's from hand though. Yeah, it's not, it's yeah. not so too bad. Really, it feels good for this. Goal. Yeah. Well, let's just not draw. Yeah. Let me pull yeah. up the deck <laughs> yeah. real quick. So there. Well, actually, no. There's an argument enough. for that too, though, because yeah. if we draw our other Doom Guards, then any like sacrificial and lackey goes straight to Void Lord, exactly. and that's fine. We could just draw some cubes and it should be good. So they got oh, coin yeah. Kellis in turn one. one. I think I, I fucking carried that game, didn't I? So we got our dark pack. We tap Holy and we God. trade. Holy oh, Kellis. Oh, so we're man. setting up for a pretty nasty turn on five. Fortunately, I had Kellis up off turn now, one. Now, do we just hit their face and milk the fact that they're going to trade? Uh, I think we just trade. I don't think it's ever gonna end up mattering. Yeah, no, I don't think it matters. But. I think against like maybe like a more aggro deck, you just trade immediately. Yeah. Because if they're running like, because we already know it's spiteful druid. Yeah, there's, if they're there's... running like beast aggro token druid, then we would be like, all right, no, please God. Stop. In in the world <laughs> where no one knows how to trade and you just want to go face, I guess you would go face, but 
There's no point not to if they're just going to trade back. So it looks like they're trying to force them to just trade with it, which yeah. what was what we were saying. Like, nothing's actually going to change. Yeah, like... That would have happened regardless. Yeah. It's, it's sort of some head games. It's head yeah. game situation. Dude, little, mind little games? Meta. My favorite card. Mind game. The priest card where you just summon a... Summon something summon from the enemy's deck. Enemy. Yeah. It's a four-drop card. You're getting one drops every time. The ultimate big priest. So looks like we got Prince 3. Pretty good in this deck. Yeah, you <laughs> Keliseth, nice meet your older brother. <laughs> <laughs> I hear they're one year apart. I'm you, but strong. <laughs> got team. Except Keliseth gives you about plus 17, plus 17 stats, while Taldrum gives you a... Nothing. <laughs> another thing. Another 10 damage. And it's 3-3. Three, three yeah, so another 10. No, yeah, yeah. Which I mean... If only you could... I wish it would soak up the, the death rattle. Wait, does it soak the death rattle? I think it does. If, yeah, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure it remember, holds on to the death rattle. But you can't cube oh, a cube because yeah. then the death rattle's lost. Yeah, it only goes... Like, what's yeah. going on? I don't understand. It deletes the history. Right now. That would be crazy. It's quadruple. <laughs> it can tall to ram the Tar Creeper. I'm not sure how, how good of a play that is, but... It gets really strong. It becomes a 5-3 on the enemy turn. Yeah. Is that how that works? Yep. No, or oh, wait. No. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's, that's, crazy. that's how it works. So that trades perfectly with everything. I mean, kind of a cool play to space out. Maybe we'll oh, worry about our health a little bit. Yeah. There wasn't really much other plays, really. Yeah, everything else in our hand was, you know, sort of unplayable. Ooh, wow. Okay, so now we've got options. With both of those demons in our so, hand, yeah, Skull of the I was about to say, it's really strong. Probably looking to play the, uh, the weapon. How do you say that? Man, Airy. Skull. I don't know, man. I, I never got into. I, I never got into WoW. I'm so. bad at names in general. Skull of the Minari. I would say Minari, probably. Yeah. Mina, ma Good call. <coughs> so either way, I think. Oh. Oh, they ooze out the gate. Ooh. Card. So yeah, I guess we did know it. that was in our deck. Yeah. So. I, there's no way you play around that, though. I mean, you can't just, like... You can't not just play just, just because you're scared yeah. of it. Yeah, do you think Possessed Lackey Dark Pact is the move this turn? You're welcome for the uh, war. We're 50-50 between Doomguard and yeah. well, Void Lord, and I think let's if we see, how, miss that... How much... Do they have any silence? I don't they think... have two Spellbreakers in the deck, so... Yeah, that's, probably to go ahead and Dark Pact it. Regardless if they yeah, had, if they had it or not. It's pretty... Doom guard. Doom guard. It's not bad. It trades yeah. well, so that works. It works the same way. Yeah. Um, the yeah. fact that we were at twenty-two health is also really good. The yeah. fact that we fit the full eight exactly healing. Spitefully. So they spitefuled their UI. They're rolling high before, so probably gonna get a death wing here. Classic. Oh my god. Um, You're yeah, I'm a I'm an esports <laughs> coach, by the way. By the way. By the way. Yeah. So you didn't. Oh god. So. Not looking too great. Yeah. Mm. Feels so bad, man. I think so. They're hovering over possessed lackey and defile, defile but defile is not very. They can't actually make that work. Right now, yeah. They don't. They don't get one health somewhere. So the mortal enemy team portal. has twenty, or has uh, 17, 19, 19 18. 18 with face, I guess. <coughs> it's a big. It's a so pretty scary. Board yeah, they right have now. twenty with phase. <laughs> Is there twisting nethers in this deck? No, there's not. Doesn't None. look like it. Wow. Yeah, that's the more Usually they run way. one. Yeah. Wait, what do they take out? Is it like a spellstone or a doomsayer? Sure. I think they got probably put in doomsayers yeah. instead. Because they always run these. Always run these. 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 Prince three, hellfires, spellstones, cubes, doom guards. Even then, though, we're drawing it next turn, yeah. right? So it's like. We yeah, wouldn't like, be able to play it this turn anyway. Okay, so that doesn't so help got, us. It yeah. thins us for Void Lord, but even though it's two turns away, pretty spooky stuff. Do they have to cube for phase? Cube for just the body, I guess. Feels sort of bad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> extremely bad. It only trades one damage anyway, so they just rush phase. Still have confidence. Well, <laughs> that's kind of a. <laughs> I mean, let's be play. honest, the scale bane didn't really tip the scales yeah. here. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh, oh Jesus. GG. Yeah. Uh, Classic. Oh, oh man. God, look that's, at that Tar It's pretty good. Esports. So, uh. <coughs> Esparto. I think we lack Ian to concede here. I think that's yeah, probably the best one. 
So, uh, yeah, there's... There's no way to use Faceless Manipulator. We can't give Deathwing time. Um, yeah, it's pretty uh, rough. So much damage. Even if we could. <sighs> we can't even fish for anything with Mortal Coil due to the, the health or the buff on So I guess the, Tap is the only play that's, like, possibly... And you're looking for... What? Health? Okay. Nah, I don't know. I there's don't, really I no don't think there's anything. I guess the Dark Pact... A dark pack to so to possess lackey. So dark pack that does turn into void lord. I think yeah. there's a chance that no, he might not die yet. Small chance. I mean, it'll it, hit. It's it'll a chance. This will trade, and then trade, 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 the and then it'll hit two damage face or and yeah, then three. Yeah, I think you don't tap it because yeah, you might pull the void yeah, lord. <laughs> I guess they they're gonna set up. Go ahead yeah, and go up for the defile. Yeah. Which I mean, it's not a huge defile, but you at least get the void lord out. Get yourselves at least one more turn. Yep. So, not a horrible okay, play. Okay, so we traded pretty well. They just run the Deathwing in. A Silence is uh, lethal, and they top deck the uh, Silence, yeah. so... Which makes sense, because they're cheating. Uh, yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> I don't think uh, we can say that, but... Uh, they're, they're botting It's definitely so a pretty I'm, good pretty good draw. I watched reporting them. <laughs> I am reporting them for scripting. It feels so bad, man. Well... I guess the death one was a little my fault, but yeah, you kind of yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'm I'll blaming it all on you. I'll take the L. Let's just let's just delete that one from yeah. the vods right yeah, quick. Yeah, we'll just oh, pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah. So uh, this looks like a repeat of yesterday. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that two zero comeback. Yeah. Quickly. Got to get this game tied up. Okay. Yeah, and if we if we lose this, I'll never I'll never stream one again. <laughs> I'll never come back to stream these because I just so this is ritualistic. Merlot. Tommy, the team we're playing is all plat. Is that in Siege? Yeah. There's oh, ranking in Siege? Yeah. I didn't know that. We're, we're doing ESL stuff, so. ESL? Oh, American Sign yeah. Language? Oh, wait. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> American Sign Electronic Language? Electronic Sports League, maybe? Yeah, wait. Oh, that's so like, you're, like, you're like in a, an organization yeah. outside of that. I'm sorry. But uh, have to I consider that. myself <laughs> a pro. Hey, I is it like a game battles thing? Like a setup? yeah, it's like oh, that. Okay. online. All right, so we're using the same deck here. We didn't want to go for our. Well, we have an aggro paladin on by. No, wait. Let's, let's, we're locked in to get banned. Let's check out locked. their deck. They got two silences. An identified mall. Two divine favors, of course. So they don't have any text. Not a lot of text. So just just silences. Just <coughs> I think that's extremely important. The fact that we're turn two with Minari. We've got the coin, and we also have a Doomsayer this yep. turn, so we are actually able to space out. Now, that wasn't an issue for us last Drew game, a Doom guard but again. we also weren't going for against Pat. <laughs> Drew a Doomguard, but it's, it's not too bad because we have Skull yeah, of Minari. Yeah, Minari is good. Yeah. Uh, Minari is insane here. So now we're looking for cube for Fish. turn Especially, six. It's pretty good turn six. Yeah. And we have Dark Pact and... Yeah, Dark Pact and, and Lackey. So this Lackey, if that doesn't work out for us. Around turn five, turn six, if we're not turning around like a lead, then... Yeah, well, know, so yeah. You're a good sculptor, man. Thanks. Yeah. He goes to college. <laughs> this is what I do at college. I sculpt. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Ice sculptures? I took APR, so. Really? Did you guys carve ice? No, but we should have. <laughs> no, we just watched a lot of things. Okay, so we got Taldrum again. That might help with the. So Whenever probably just gonna. Out some demon. You think Doomsayer's just gonna uh, tap? I think you just. No, I almost. <laughs> I think you just do because Doomsayer yeah. or, or uh, Knife Juggler incentivizes like board control. Yeah. You just want to play as much as you can. True. Oh, cutting that right wow. now. Maybe the greed will help us, but if if they turn over a lot right here and then can kill our Doomsayer, then we're gonna be stuck with about three turns in between our combos and like dying. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he actually didn't have anything, or did he just want to get that out? I guess he just wants to hit face. Oh, he's going aggro. Yeah, he's looking at it. I think he sees what we're doing and got trying to end it quick. Hmm. This is so Doomsayer into Tall Dram Doomsayer. Oh. Um, Can't do that. Do you oh, think we uh, collide wish into we could. Skull of Minari? Um, turn four? Or do you think it's best to I think I think you do. And then hope that you draw... You top deck the carnivorous cube for turn five. Yeah, I think I think that's like the the god draw. Set yeah. up OTK doom yeah, guard yeah. blast. It's yeah, and then Taldrum cube. Yeah, boom. In hand. But I'm not I'm not too entirely sure. It'll <coughs> depend on what he does this turn. Yeah. Let's see where these knives go. He's gonna, important he's gonna. Okay, so if one more goes. He can trade, unless he's. I wonder what's he got in his hand. Planning on trade. Fingers crossed. Oh. oh. 
feels bad, man. So he's making the weapons work really well. Oh, that also that's an amazing turn yeah. right there. It really so you is. got the coin into Minari, and then it'll only pull out Doomsguard for then the cubing Doomsguard on turn five. Unless we top deck a Void Lord. Oh, but they. But yeah, still, is not bad. They were in silence in the deck as well. Yeah. So that's also a pretty big problem with cube. I think we have so many combos at this point, though, yeah. that it's okay. In the. Something to watch out for is that they have so much damage. Yeah. So they're think I think they're 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 deciding whether or not to you know just go ahead and do this, do this, maybe uh, just coin play this, coin play Hellfire, this. I think you 100% keep Hellfire for the five long ones. Yeah. Because that I can think, turn into like an OTK with Tall German. Uh, what's his face? I agree, but <coughs> it's an option, you know. It also yeah. buffs the uh, the. It buffs the, the spellstone. Yeah, spell yeah. Down here. So, I mean, yeah, it just depends on how aggressive you want to go. Yeah, it depends go. on how urgent you feel yeah. that your defense so needs to be. they did decide to go with the Minari play. So, we're taking, is that 9 damage, or is it 8 damage? It's 8 damage. Yeah, so the mall's only 2. So, we're taking 8 plus uh, daggers. Yeah. Oof, oof. So, it's going to probably look about 2 or 3 more, so I'm saying we're going to be down to about 13 health this next turn. So, uh, we're going to be dead next turn. <laughs> Good well, call, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> Either way, we have Dark Pact and Spellstone yeah. next turn, which is probably... Wait, did it upgrade yet? Um, it, no, no, it's just last turn. So it only has three. Okay, so that's it's healing still, 11. Yeah. So if we're taking only 10 this turn and 11, we'll just kind of bounce around and then actually get board control. Yeah. So do you think the move is... Well, you can't... You can't possess lacking it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what do you too think slow, the, yeah. yeah. I don't. So I mean, hey, nice socks. Hey, thanks. I put on white ones. Let's see what this card is. See, so Dunes guards there now, so that's pretty good. That's a trade into. Match up there. Carnivora. So there's. Yeah. We can go boom, and then cube, dark pack. We can't summon two more. Go boom, we can't boom. Cube and dark pack this turn though. Yeah, it's one mana off. That's what I'm. Yeah. yeah. I think we have to kind of try to space health here. Yeah, so it's not very oh. We gotta... Yeah. <laughs> maybe... Uh, Could just go ahead and tell her I'm one of these guys. Still just... Look for trade. I'll trade. Look to trade to... Because that get, gives us it. another Doom Guard for our, uh, for our Blood Griever Gul'dan. Because it would die... I think it would drop the damage that we take to five. Yeah. If we... Especially Hellfire getting rid of the knife traveler. Yeah. And do you think also, we, Hellfire is a yeah, pretty good Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hell, Hellfire's not a bad play here. What's this, uh... And then we we buck. Ten. And yeah. we're taking four damage next turn. Four, unless Can he, he pull decides six out to or uh, yeah. destroy the Doom Guard. The Doom Guard. Where does he get six from? Uh, the plus four plus four spell. Oh, I guess it doesn't give him six, hey, but Leroy yeah. basically. Yeah. Do they run? Them? No. Oh no! I keep forgetting they don't. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember seeing. Leroy Jenkins. He doesn't even run the four plus four plus four either. Leroy Jenkins. That's sort of surprising, yeah. actually. Well, he, does he run double mall? He runs one mall. He doesn't run plus four plus four or double mall. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> he's got Taldrum. He's got well, Megasaurs. That's a bit confusing. Oh no! Honestly. Oh wait. Yeah. He runs righteous protectors in there, so I guess that's for double the double call to arms. He runs double hydraulics. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we got a Murloc leader. We can play Another six damage down. now. He did lead the Doom oh, Guard up though. Interesting. I think I didn't. No, he, yeah, he left it up. I don't know about that play. So does it give us cube the play, cube dark pack, or is that too slow? Still? So I think it's it's definitely got to be a noble sacrifice to get down. So yeah. it's not even worth trading in, probably. I think we have it. So we, we probably just cube, cube into Dark Pact. Dark Pact heals us up, which is awesome. Creates two more Doom Guards. Wait, did they discovered that secret? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's like, probably what, Noble what if, what if we? What if they're playing around that? What if it's Eye for an Eye? Well, it's a good... <laughs> that's a good well, we have healing, so yeah. So like, we have we have the eight, eight and we the, have the five. We have 13, 13 heal in our hand. I think the play putting us up to like cube first, seventeen. Yeah. That'd be tragic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swings face. <laughs> Get down. 
Let's see. Nerve right. Okay, so it's not get down. So it's, eye, it's for an eye. eye for an eye. Wow. wow look at you. That's horrifying. E sports coach. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <coughs> it's not a bad way. play because <laughs> at 4 HP with no heal, yeah. it puts them in a dire situation. Yeah, yeah and they, they would have a, to play around that. Yeah. I think we played around that pretty We're playing well. against a grade A meme, right? Yeah. 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 They can be scared of one thing when you don't need to wow. be. Wow. Well, we got well, really for lucky. You. <laughs> we got so lucky with that pull. Yeah. We got, like, really low rolls. Hmm. So, uh, no Murlocs for them. Now, do we play around popping and then hell firing with our 5-3? Our 5-3 so is going to die regardless. One thing we can do is... This is this is after we deal with the board, which pretty sure we can. We have some spell stones, some... Hellfire, some Doom Guards. I think we can Taldoram the no, charge sorry. for an eye for an eye, so we only take three face after we heal oh, from yeah. this. So we don't have to exactly take five to damage. That's true. So so is, do you think that's the play? Spellstone into Taldram? Or Wait, do we eye for eye first. Ooh, I think you're going to have Taldoram that. Oh, that's which not, is I mean, it's not a bad pretty good play, yeah. actually. And then... Spellstone, uh, just trade and then a they, one three, perhaps. Maybe they don't even want to use it. I think they need to get that here. Yeah, it's kind of it's really kind of spooky at this point. Yeah. All right. And this is this is the point you know around turn five, six, seven, where the game does turn around for yeah. Warlock. So it, <coughs> it it's pretty much just when does he get divine favor and okay. how low can we get our hand count by the time he gets it? Yeah. We so have. if we play around that correctly. So he gets a pretty low buff. He gets three yeah, buffs and then gets big. one dagger Oof. that didn't trade. Thank God. Oh. So we've got Hellfire, and I don't know. I think I for an eye. Oh well, no eye for an eye now. So turn eight. What can we draw? Perhaps a face. Let's. Oh, Look oh my God! <laughs> We're getting good are at you, this game. Are you an esports coach? <laughs> By the way, I may be. <laughs> now, oh, so we know the we're secret. one minute away from Lackey into Hellfire. Yeah. So they're just going to go ahead and trade in. And then Hellfire? I like that play. Hellfire Dude, Doomsayer? Or I Hellfire? Think I, I think that's so good. Hmm. The only thing that. Do they play Cobalt? That's the question. Okay, there we go. Trigger die for an eye. Oh, so it's any source of damage? I guess. I, <laughs> I, think, I think that's. Three is pretty low. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I think that's the lowest we could have done. Whenever your hero yeah, takes like damage. Yeah, we're not going to take turn for Lackey to yeah. go in. Cobalt won't go in. Um, I, I don't know. Doomsayer is weird because if they get so divine favor, I think we just want to get them out of our hand, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think we play Librarian. I think we kind of do. Well, well. I think we do. Well, I think if, we do. Yeah. If they get divine favor, well, either way, they don't. They don't run Leroy, yeah. so. Well, and they just and they, both night jugglers are dead, so they can't layer up a bunch of damage. Yeah. yeah, which is really nice. Let's see direct damage. They have. Knife jugglers are dead. Dead. So they have dead. weapons. They already played one mall and one in like what? They played both the, rallying games? Oh, I think they did play both of them. I yeah. might be wrong, though. I think they did, yeah. Did they run? They, they have played all their weapons. They, they have played. Taldrum left. Taldrum and Spellbreakers. Oh, Ma yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen any Megasaurs. There's what could, <coughs> could that be a Megasaur? I'm not sure. Double faceless manipulator. Hmm. Faceless into faceless. Do we play? Oh, that's a pretty good play. <laughs> Do we play our? Uh, but for real, we actually play into faceless. We play yeah. librarian. We can't well, play we that. Can't, we can't. We <laughs> can't. Do we play librarian? Oh wait, here to turn stage? nine. Hmm. What are you? Uh, what are we looking for? Yeah, we still have one dark pact. We have one spell stone, which is only three healing. Yeah. But even then, if we draw, we can't play it. So maybe we just have to. Dark pact would be pretty clutch, actually. Yeah, but that's such a. That's a low. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. That is a 16. that is a six point <laughs> seven five number. chance. And they didn't get it. They got mis mixture though. That's not it's not too bad. No, it's pretty good. I guess faceless one. <coughs> faceless the mixture. Um the question is that's actually is golden faceless or not. Yeah, I think you definitely use golden <laughs> yeah, first. I mean Just playing and possessed. Okay. So we know we know they don't have five damage. Yeah, they don't. They don't have any direct damage, right? Yeah, the only damage, left. the more damage it's they get, it's damage. Yeah. At this point, it's whatever. So it's why it's confusing me about this. This okay. This is the play that I'm worried about right here. Yeah. The hydrologist. Is eye for an eye. We saw them. Scary. We just saw them do the same thing. Oh, yeah, the eye for an eye play is really scary. good. Scary. What is? I think uh, steam. Whatever Kodo. That's probably. It recycles their board a little bit.
Okay, so they tauldroned on their hydrologist with a secret out. Okay. So I think we can take as long as we get some kind of like kill our own cards. They buffed all of our cards, and this that's is, uh, pretty insane. Though, what does that draw any, for us? We don't have any void walkers. Like we've had uh oh cube. We've had cube die. But cube, cube is uh and mixture. forgets right. One mixture. I guess if we trade him, we have one mixture. Mixture. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, well, we, cube, we, we didn't get a cube on anything. We played it for body. Oh right. Remember? Oh, so, was that last turn? Yeah, yeah. No, that, that, that was, was that was, that was game, this I'm pretty game. sure. Yeah, that was the other game. Because we've been playing from behind this whole. Now they definitely oh, yeah. triple trade in and then go for uh, triple, triple Nazoth for the healing. Actually, I think well, that was this game that we queued. That'll for Doom that'll pull Void Lord or Doom Guard, and they can double faceless. Get away, Kodo. Oh, uh, they got a Void Lord. Oh, Void Lord. So we, really we kind of assumed. So we faceless, assumed that. faceless. So. <coughs> I think that's pretty good. Faceless, faceless, that, that puts three more Void Lords in Nazoth, which Ooh, is yeah, really good. Yeah, that's insane. pretty ideal. And then, and then that puts, that that puts Gold three Dan. more for Gold'an yeah. as well. So. so that's like super protecting our bodies. So now he definitely Taldrin's here in trades. Taldrin's totally the play. Wowie. So he's looking for... Silences, right? He still has Never both, both of his... I um, forgot about Silences. Yeah, he's still got both of them. So he Megasaurus, that only buffs one card, so right? What's he looking for? Just buff in general? He got some Keep stats. It board. It's so not horrible, yeah. They're kind of winning with board stats, but like the Voidlords are just so hard to get through. Yeah. Yeah. The only way that he can like get rid of he some can of the just value... Play, they can just play Nazoth next turn and yeah. get a whole nother one if they wanted to. And that's a... We're looking for a way to... That's a spaghetti right there. Hey Amen. Spaghetti, if you ask me, though. Not even, not even gonna... The Pretty useless. Yeah, the fill. Maybe. The feeling. But now, how do we trade here? We just have to run all three in and then make a bunch of one one or one threes. Yeah. So, is there any way that they kill all these? They don't have any AOE. Nope. Now, I mean, the only the AOE air quotations they have is oh, is a, a do you even gentle Megasaur it? poison or knife juggler, and both of those are dead. Silence doesn't really clear I, it. I like us not trading here. Yeah, I, I would. Because it just leaves it leaves the idea open for yeah. you know. They have to make the move. Yeah. Divine okay. Divine favor into two cards, giving them five. Yeah, deck, what's the fatigue? Five Where are we at? They had seven. We're seven. at twelve. Twelve. Okay, we're in. We're hit, and we have more yeah. and healing as well. He might have even drew another divine favor. Favor, because those are going to be some of the only cards he has left. His other divine favor. So he makes a trade for us. Oh, we only get one. Okay, so that's a misplay. We should have traded with our golden one, so we would have had yeah. three golden yeah. one threes. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. We play. probably should write this down. Yeah, just gotta tell our boys about it. And so what I think we should do, considering how to trade, <laughs> I think Nazoth is getting really good here. Yeah, three void walkers in there. Well, it's because we want to do it before the one th before the one threes die, right? Because yeah. it'll roll the dice on it. So but we could get one mistress and three void lords. So we're okay with mistress, honestly. So killing all five of it, them it would saturates the pool a little bit with one three. Yeah, but at the same time, I think it's worth. Trading a couple in just to get a good, nice trade, and then is offing. Yeah, just do the math though. Like, one, how much damage can push through? Like two, three. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they could clear board with the file as well. Do they if just? They wanted did to, they send? But that gets oh, rid yeah. of all the void walkers. <coughs> Actually, I kind of. I'm act. Well, well then, then you, you also can can't go into, you, Oh, you're right. You can't miss off on that turn. I really like that play, but because they're running out of steam. Yeah. They're, yeah, they. But I actually, in, I actually almost hand. like that play. Yeah, I would. I, I kind of like the play as well. Because then it's all, it's like, uh, I think they're gonna go for it. They got a top deck something. Oh, it looks like they're just gonna oh, run this off. off. Okay. I like, I like that play actually better. Oh, okay, so they, they got, got one. But one. That's I didn't even think a, about the possessed lackey. Possessed lackey into another. Oh. Either void lord. Doom, void lord or doom guard. Yeah. There. We Here don't really want doom guard. Yeah, so I think the clear board play was better there because it allows them oh, to only play a 4-3. Next turn it would have been a 1-4-3 into a 5-7 at worst, just a bunch of Void Lords. Yeah. Or Void Doom Guards. Now he just took 5 damage to the face though too. I think we still set up the Defile here if we oh. want. Hmm, so well, they have you seven, definitely get the big taunt. 9, though. 12, 17, or 16, 21. Yeah, I think a Defile's pretty nasty here. 
One, your, two, your void three. Lord stays oh, yeah. two, three. Cube, void lord, and Azoth stay up. Yep. Yeah. And, and you get a void Ping, ping. Chicken wang. 12 damage. Yeah, yeah, chicken wang. Give yeah. your dad a bone. <laughs> Give your dad a bone. And Epic play. The Defoli was pretty strong there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And, and so we got we'll another taunt out. Now he does actually have another silence, I think. Yeah, there's one more silence. And so... He's pretty much just sitting on and the next. And we're guaranteed favor. five more damage next turn. So that's because game. Doom Guard's gonna be pulled out. Yeah. Yeah. He he doesn't have Terram. He doesn't yeah, have Knife Jugglers. No more weapons. No more more leaders. Yeah, no more divine favors. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's there we go. Good. That's cool. our boys. Them is the, the boys. All the decisions that they made that really pump mattered. the brakes, Sunni. Pump the brakes. <laughs> all the decisions we made. Um, there were aggro I'm versions sorry. and defensive <laughs> versions, pump. and yeah. I think we went on the aggro side there at the end. But so what is our what's our last deck? I believe it is a spiteful druid for us. No, we won the spiteful. Uh, we just won. We brought paladin four. and so it's oh, hunter. It's hunter. Good old spunter. What do you? What's the matchup oh. with dude? Oh, we murloc paladin against. Um, I think it's Spell actually man. kind of like bad. Yeah. I, I, but Yashrash. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good play. <laughs> it's, uh, we gotta, although, that, I think, that I candle think shots are pretty the candle shot's pretty strong. Yeah, pretty, rather strong. Kill I mean, command can be okay. Yeah. Consider the cat tricks, I mean, what spells do they run? Divine favor? Barns. Secrets? Oh, and secrets, yeah. So that'll be, that'll be good for that. Put that away, Tom. <laughs> Sorry. Just because they can't see you. Ooh, <laughs> Unleash the Hounds is actually so good here. It makes it so easy to trade with candle shot. <laughs> we hear our, our player Lucas over here pleading with God. Raviolo. Amen, Needler. So, so I'm gonna start talking to uh, the tech managers about uh, getting the face cam back for the Twitch streamers. Oh, for sure. I think we need to set up more for our studio. We need a whole stream area. I mean, Ooh, tracking is pretty good when you haven't got Barnes yet. True. Is that is that what? what do you think that that's not the play? This it's not the play. So I think we just hit it. Go ahead and hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit yeah, it. We hit it. Hit it in the front. And oh. then just turn the next. Why can't card. we just? So what would feel real bad like, is pull the cards. Both and of them. And <laughs> <we're Barnes it. laughs> you uh, go ahead and stop talking. <laughs> What we were doing last time is anything can happen. We're not saying anything specific will happen, but some things can happen. Look at this cry. little cat he's sitting in there. He's all purple. I don't really like that. But. It's surprising that he's able to fit such a l large cat in such a small. I mean, You're so I guess maybe he's actually just laying on the hat, though. Oh, yeah. What are the options? Do we get to see? Freezing trap, emerald, oh, spellstone, cat trick. Bad, right? I feel like that doesn't feel that bad. I think getting well, spellstone I mean, yeah. really early while we have. Oh, I, I think guess we don't. Spellstone is just good. It feels in general. bad that both secrets go out with spellstone. Yeah. Though. yeah. But let's be honest. Spell spellstone's just strong, right? By itself, just yeah. the less. It trades version. twice, and it's got two. It's six six for five. Five mana, six six. Yeah. What a dumb card. And the only removal they Little have for the wolves would be the weapons that they have, right? Yep, yep, yep. And You're so even right, Jim. Only rallying blade does that because the mauls yeah, are two two. The mauls so. two two. <laughs> Whoopsie mm. daisies. And Lucas oh, bad. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard I think, people saying that before. So, low key, Scott, I love Lucas though. <laughs> High key, I love Lucas. Oh yeah, good call. So how pressure do we feel to clear this board? We actually have clear, but I don't think it's necessary. Three. Oh yeah. With uh, so unleash. We have a flare. They also played the hydrologist. Didn't play the secret yet. Yeah, so I think we almost want to save. Save flare the for flare for the yeah. So. What do you think about? We can just go ahead and. Kill command that, and then just hit it. But I, I don't know if we want to hit it. Because yeah. if we hit it, then it doesn't kill it. Yeah. I mean, we can hit it next turn. No, we can't. There's only one more durability on the... I even knew that, saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I just I said can, it was I'm like... I'm wishing it into being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we if could, I say it enough, I'm right. Or I guess we could kill command, hunters mark that, and then hit it. I think knowing how much flood there is in the paladin deck, they want to save the, um, the hounds. They're not even going to hit it. Yeah, yeah, sa yeah. I think saving you the hounds, hounds is um, yeah. pretty important. And I think that's what they're doing. They're saving their, their candle shot for trading. 
So let's see what they play here. Okay. Oh, the plus two health kind of feels. By the way, guys, how was the audio? Cause it's sort of just like there. Yeah, like we. See oh, it. hey, look at that. Oh, amazing. So, so I think they the want, what they mark. want to do is tracking here. Oh wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be Yashiraj. Okay, I got another one right. Okay, good. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay, who is Yashiraj going to pull? I'm pretty sure Yashiraj will pull out Yasir. Uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, I think it's a 50-50. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, it's either it's either, it's either either Yasir or Lich King. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to pull Darn it. Out. Darn it. This always happens. I always get these wrong. So that that's pretty cool. Even with the dex, a dex. Even with the deck list. Hey, no farting on stream. So well, that's sorry. fair. I mean, it's our stream, we can do what we want, Wait but I'm gonna go ahead and respect your opinion. Look at that, there's the cat Okay, trick. so cat trick comes out, that's pretty good. Tarum. Ooh. So they get rid of it. Though. No. That's a really I mean, good play, though, because Tarum is almost like a, a win condition. Yeah. yeah. Get that knocked out of it. And so does Spellstone <laughs> upgrade when you play it, or when they activate it? It's when you play it. Yeah, it's when you play it. Hey, that's my emote. That Scott just used. Mm. Thanks, Scott. You can't use that here. But you have an emote. I do. I, I haven't. Have I haven't like put in one yet. Yeah. I have. I'm an affiliate, but I haven't like actually done it. I I just did it. Uh, probably in November. Probably. I, don't I really know. want one. Everyone keeps telling me to yeah. get one. I I paid somebody to make mine. Um. I just think I should upload a picture of my face. <laughs> Snap, amen. Jimmy, you're breaking the immersion. Oh, sorry. Well, he's oh. pretending to be like that person that needs stuff off. Mm, okay. So we got the flare. Get rid of that secret, because they want that tarm. That's Pretty that good is. value. I don't think we, we wait for two And then secrets. we can candle. Oh, it was def it was a uh, freaking... Get down. down. That's not what it's called. Uh, Noble sacrifice. Yeah, that's what it is. Noble down. So we Get could, sacrificed. We could candle shot to get rid of the car. <coughs> if we wanted to. Eagle horn? Oh yeah, you're right. Hmm. I almost like popping divine shield and playing five drop. It doesn't really like save us health, which I think matters more. So I'm pretty sure maybe you're right on the on the Terran uh, candle shot play. It might just be oh, there eagle. hero powering and then hitting. So why do you think they did this, Tommy? Well, because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, so they're pushing damage. Cat in the hat. Hit, so we're hitting that just because it stays alive. It, That's fair. It's just a value trade. Oh. Oh. Don't hit it. Oh, I hit it. Oof. And both knife jugglers are out now. Which I mean, if we can clear both knife jugglers, it's amazing. Actually, now we got. If he really plays another minion, he can, we can yeah. actually. We've got a hounds play. Yeah. We can go pop and then tink and then tink tink. Don't forget tink, the boop bop bop. And a boop bop bang. A bee bee boo. Don't tell anybody I said that though. Yeah, no. Oh, wait, fine. it's been saved forever. <laughs> oh, darn. We can discard the, uh... Discard the delay. <laughs> just Bye. Just go ahead and... <laughs> it's out. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they... Okay. Plus, okay, so they they want to keep their murloc all up. That is a lot of damage. It's just scary. So they can trade away. Uh, Ooh, and they have kill a kill command. Pretty good. good for trading. Keep their wanna... health. So I think we definitely Ooh. unleash the hound, yeah. no matter what. Because they're dead. Right, each other. It's dead anyway. Kill command to the tarn, you think? Possibly. I think, I think, yeah. Because then, well, I mean, you're left with one doggo I almost left. I wish we could just candle shot and waste the eagle horn just for the yeah. fact of trading. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, <coughs> well, we, we're going to take, like, six damage next turn anyways. Because we have to kill these night jugglers. So, night jugglers will do more damage overall. Night juggler, ping, ping, night ping, night ping. And then, and then, think the hit. three, three. I don't know. They could. I, they could instead just play candle drop. Hit that. I almost like that. Do that because we need to not take damage at all. And I don't know. Us not dying will make us win. The they they, they definitely killed these dudes. Yeah. We Hunter, don't care about pushing damage. We just care about not dying right here. Yeah. Hunter recovery is Rexaring for a life steal. Yes. 
other um, than that, I mean, like it's pretty if much. If you call that recovery, yeah, it's like yeah. it's not real recovery. Yeah. Okay, so we're going for the trade. We're taking two, three damage now. And we're gonna take two damage later. Let's go face. So hero power. Okay. Yeah. So they they usually prioritize hero powering because they kind of want to like efficiently whittle while they're uh, clearing board. Yeah. Uh, so no more locks in hand. That's good. Divine okay. favor only gets two. We've been able to lower, really minimize that. Oh, oh wow, they actually got a valiant blade. Oh wow. So they push five so damage. So they have. We need taunt. All right. Well, hmm. doesn't well, look like we got it. Game. Got a candle shot, and then we're just too yeah. low. Well played. Too low. Took too much damage. Well played, Sunni. So they were able to clutch it out in the end with the divine favor into audio is good into rallying blade. Yeah, that rallying blade was the just the top deck they need. Though it wasn't necessarily tied. Divine favor. Tell Tommy to stop Google best card combos mid game. <laughs> Sound yeah. legit for saying. Yeah. <laughs> Might have no, been no fighting on the screen. <laughs> Well, we tried. Yeah, it, it was, was a good, good game. Shot. It was a good game. Could have been worse. Good set of games. Yeah. I'm never coming back here again. Though. Yeah, no. We're, that was clearly my fault. We're out. Just all of us. Sorry. Just. Yeah. We're gonna have to get a bunch of robots to cast this because we're just not lucky enough. Yeah. Well, Definitely true. Jeff, we won. Like Jeff, when Jeff wasn't here, we won. Just saying. Yeah. Well, you guys won when I was here before too, though. Like, I hey, I respect data. I respect that. <laughs> so if the dad is there, I'll listen. Terram OP. I kind of, yeah, I kind yeah. of spawned that uh, Deathwing on you guys. I do apologize really for did. that. Yeah, I, I called you. I heard you. I do apologize. We get a six six. We get a six six. They get a twelve gold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. still have fragment. We still have the worst one they had. Yeah. We won that game. They just yeah. stole it. They yeah. Just yeah. Oh. Your MCT stole an MCT. Just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go was, ahead uh, and end the stream. So Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Tuning in. When's the next yeah. game, Tom? Next game is this Monday. Monday. So make sure you're 9 o'clock p.m. EST. 5 plus 7 is that's spring break. So. Also yeah, going to be during spring break, so probably not going to be casting that one, but go ahead and... Uh, no, we're casting it anyway, Tom. Oh, yeah, okay. We're going <laughs> to be casting it. It's so. much better than 0-3. That's true. Come on and hang out. Have a good time. Love you guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.